good morning um welcome back to my bathroom so i have work again today it's currently almost 12 30 um but i don't work till 3 30 so i have some time i thought maybe we could get ready together show you some of the things i do before work um this is a the glossier future do um i'm going for like a little bit of a shinier look today because i shouldn't be outside um for very long if at all so it's okay if i look a little like pre-sweaty um if you're new here i'm in the disney college program i'm on my extension currently and i work at the galactic star cruiser which is the like star wars immersive hotel experience thing yeah i get to do a cute little spacey makeup i have my little space costume it's very fun um i'll say too something that at least like i think is kind of interesting i'm not into star wars at all um which i think like it surprised my family when i wanted to do this job it surprised my friends too because i am just not a star wars girl at all <laughs> like i've seen the force awakens i know who a lot of the characters are like i know who ray is i know who darth vader is i like to call emperor palpatine dark kermit um <laughs> That I think is just funny because it makes it sound like I am really dumb. I just think it's funny. I haven't seen any of the prequels. I don't think. That might be a lie. I can't remember. They all kind of like blend together for me. The Star Wars movies do. And it's just not... I don't know. I've tried it. It's not something I am like super interested in i never like got really into it i was a lot more into um harry potter growing up really that was kind of it i wasn't a lord of the rings kid um i wasn't a percy jackson kid but i did read percy jackson um i think last year for the first time like finished it all the way through for, for the first time they're fantastic books they hold up if you are looking for something fun to read you should read Percy Jackson because not only are like the first ones really cute but then the newer ones what are they called not Magnus Chase but the, the other ones I can't remember this is okay everybody at work asked me about this a lot can you see it it's a ColourPop shadow it's the ColourPop Super Shock shadow this shade is called Dream Much. It's like a cream to powder formula. And you, this isn't doing it very well because I'm in like my gross bathroom. But it's so pretty. And uh, passengers at work and other crew members at work always ask me where I get it. I'm always like, it's ColourPop. I love ColourPop. This was like $4. What else can I talk about? Oh, I made, could you even see me for that? Sorry. I made soup yesterday because it's been nasty and rainy and cold. Not actually cold, like Florida cold. Oh my God, am I hitting Pam on this? That's really sad. But it's been like Florida cold, which means that it's like 60. <laughs> which should it be cold for me? I am born and raised Ohio. Like, I should be able to do 60 degrees. But it's been cold, and so I just really wanted soup. So I found a chicken noodle soup recipe with rotisserie chicken, and I made it, and I'm so excited to bring it with me to work today. I'm so excited to eat, like, real food that I made instead of, like, air fried frozen chicken nuggets or like mac and cheese which all that that's good it's food but where am i going i'm going to this mirror you can't see my doll okay i'm not gonna lie i don't have a tripod or anything 
you're sitting on my caboodle and like if i wanted to be fully in frame i'd have to do like a weird half squat thing and i don't go to the gym at all so i can't do that i don't have enough what muscles are in your thighs i don't have enough of that strength don't look at my eyelash curler it's crusty i'm working 3 30 to 11 today which is nice because it's, it's not like technically a closing shift because our closing shifts are 11 30 um so but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna be doing because it's a day one and i'm there until 11 which is a long time well no it's not i mean like it's late in the day to be on the shift. So it kind of gears down around 10 o'clock. I don't know. It's not a long shift because it's, I think it's only, I think only here for seven hours, seven and a half hours, which is really short. Um, my, my work schedule for this week, bonkers. I like work one day and then I'm off the next day and then I work and then I'm off for two days and then I work and work and work and then I'm off again. It's really weird. We have so many new people. Part of the Star Cruiser is you're constantly bringing in new crew members. So we don't always get a ton of hours. When I first started, it was like pretty consistently 38 to 40 hours just because I had so much training. Um, and now that I'm out of training, you know, it's not that many hours. I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight because that never hurt anyone. I figure out how I'm gonna do my hair today. I, if you watched my other Get Ready With Me, I was like talking about the um, blow dryer round brush thing. Still haven't figured it out. No idea, tried to do it yesterday. I don't know, my hair looked fine, but it certainly wasn't what it was supposed to be. Um, but today, since I'm going in at 3.30, I'm not gonna put my hair all the way, like all the way up because our dining room closes at four. Um, and so I won't be in there for very long if I'm there at all. So I think what I'm gonna do, cause I saw someone on Instagram she had like bubble braids, but they were teeny tiny and they were just at the top of her head. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. That looks like a horn. Okay, that's cute. Wait, I turned it off. That's cute. Okay, let's see the other side. It's fine. Look at the back. I don't want to look at the back. No one look. I'll just stand against the wall. Oh, I forgot I had this. Okay, my laundry is done. So I need to take that back into my room, fold it and put it away. So let's do that. I'm already in my full costume. I have my name tag. Um, I'm not wearing my clogs because it's supposed to pour down rain. So I have my little Crocs on instead. Um, I am currently making 
a, can you see me? I'm currently making a grilled cheese to take with me um, for my dinner. And then I need to put my soup into a smaller container. Cause right now, look at this. This isn't even all of it. And this Tupperware has a handle. <laughs> this is the newest fashion, as far as I'm concerned, is a tote full of soup. Um, but so I gotta figure out how much of this I'm gonna, oh, it's really sealed, hold on. Don't look at how dirty the oven is. Hello? Oh, got it. Okay, don't worry. It's because I put it in the container, I think when the soup was still hot, so it like sealed itself. I have this and I'm just gonna, oh, that's not working. Um, okay. Oh, there we go, okay. There's not a ton of broth. Most of the broth is in, ah, my bigger container. Uh, so it kind of just looks like a weird, gross stew. Can you hear my sandwich sizzling away? Yum, yum, yum. I'll bring that spoon. This needs to get the lid on it again. I advise if you're gonna make soup, make sure that you have enough broth because it's just perfect. Um, I only bought one like of those cartons of broth, and that only has about four cups in it, and my recipe called for ten. So I add a lot of water to this, which it tastes fine because I bought stock instead of broth. So it's a little bit of a, um, like a higher concentration of chicken flavor or whatever. So it should be fine, but it's not like super, I don't know what this means. It's not super brothy. <laughs> the one I have frozen, hold on, let me show you that one. So you saw I have this much soup in here, right? Oh, just wait. Because I also have this full of soup. Can you even tell how big this is? This thing is huge. This is my head and this is the container. That's not helpful. Um, but this one's a lot more liquidy than the other one is. I'm kind of rushing around because I want to get the 220 bus for my 330 shift. 147 right now but I try to leave my house about 10 to 15 minutes before the bus gets there so that I don't have to run because running for the bus is so embarrassing so oh my god if I see you running for the bus like that's embarrassing I'm sorry I don't know I'm also just like a time freak though so if I am like if I get somewhere five minutes before the start time, I feel like I'm late. You know, this is going back in the freezer. Ah, I'll bring some crackers too. Yeah. Let's just add some more bread. How burnt is this? Not too bad. I need I have so many Tupperware I need to get rid of it um Lily who is my roommate and also my friend I don't Lily what is your title can you please tell me um <laughs> she yells at me all the time because I was so she doesn't yell at me but she comments all the time about ah ah 
Oh, it's hot. Be careful. Um, about how much Tupperware I have. Because I have like, I have too much Tupperware. And I don't know what to do with it all. I don't have time to wash it every night. I'm just supposed to what? Like, come home after work, immediately put it in the dishwasher so I can use it for the next day? No, I'd rather just have a billion Tupperwares. So that then I can wash them all at the same time. And then there's no room in the dishwasher for anything else. Doesn't that look yummy? Ooh, so crispy. Um, these don't need a container, they're already in plastic. Okay. Oh, I could bring some cheese too. Okay. Uh, no. I don't need cheese. I'm already eating a grilled cheese with soup and crackers. I don't need more cheese. That's good, okay. Now, I'm going to, I like this hair, this looks cute. Don't look at how dirty, oh, I need to clean my apartment. That's it, I'm all ready to go to work. Have a good day. Well, sort of.